and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some Orzov Troll Night to start the day off today. Uh, we got a lot of donation decks to play today, and this is going to be our first one on the docket. The goal of this deck is to have um, Clackbridge Troll and Ethereal, Ethereal Absolution. So we're giving our opponent a whole bunch of goats with Clackbridge Troll, and then the next turn uh, we're having their creatures get minus one, minus one with Ethereal Absolution to um, get rid of all of them. Um, so uh, besides that, we're going to have some really good early game and um, and everything with our knights. So we got like the knight package in here, as you can see, with all of these knight creatures um, to help put some pressure on the opponent so that whenever we do play Clackbridge Troll, also the 8-8 Trampler is really valuable. If they have a low life total, um, we want to be able to finish games quickly with the 8-8 Trample Haste creature. So hopefully we can get a lot of chip damage in with these knights. Also, um, Worthy Knight, you know, w if we have this, we can maybe go wide. Each time we play a knight, we create 1-1s, one and going wide is exactly what we want to do with Ethereal Absolution also that gives our creatures plus 1, plus 1. So, you know, getting that, like our creatures get plus 1, plus 1 um, can help out when we're playing a whole bunch of creatures here. So that's that's what our deck's all about. Um, we'll use Knight Synergies and uh, and everything, try to get ahead, uh, get Clackbridge Troll out there where our opponent has to sacrifice a go because they can't just take the 8 damage. But then the next turn, whenever we give their creatures minus 1, minus 1, we can finish the game off with the Clackbridge Troll. So that's the goal here. We got 25 lands, uh, and hopefully we can hit enough land drops to get to 6. Uh, Midnight Reaper will help with that too, with uh, creatures dying, helping getting us some extra cards, helping us hit some land drops there. Um, and then and then we got most of our interaction over in the sideboard. So, you know, like depending on what our opponent's playing, we can have good interaction for them. Duress in particular could be really valuable against uh, these decks with Wilderness Reclamation or um, or Fires of Invention. Um, hey, Holy Guardian. Um, and... Uh, so like that's that's like the main thing for Dispark, but then you know like there's a lot of other good targets with it, anywhere from like Wicked Wolf to you know a lot um, to other things. But that's that's mostly what Dispark is for the Reclamation and um, Fires of Invention decks. Uh, if they're playing a ton of creatures, we we have like a, a Kaya's Wrath here um, to to um, to help out to play a little bit of defense. Of course, against Aggro, we got Legion's End against Oko. We got Noxious Grasp, and then against also against control decks like Fires of Invention and you know like these blue white and Jeskai control decks, we got a couple of Bola Citadel because they're probably not attacking our life total, so we should have the extra um, life that we can spend on Citadel to be able to um, uh, cast a whole bunch of stuff. All right, well let's go ahead and give this a try. So just like with all donation decks, we're gonna go ahead and play through a league. See if we can get to five wins before two losses. All right, what do you think of the state of standard at the moment? Also, hey, Subatex. Um, I don't know. It's it, it could be better, of course. Like They've been making too many powerful blue-green cards that fit really well together and everything, but... That's all right. That's just how it goes. All right, so I'm going to probably lead with... I mean, I guess I could just shock in for Knight turn one and then play Temple turn two. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. It means I'm I'm paying two life to do one extra damage to the opponent, basically. So I'm not sure if that's, if that's the best or not. We'll see. Okay, good. If they're a slower opponent, it'd works out better for us. Hmm. Well, hopefully we hit land drops. I haven't heard anything, any problem with Brawl. Hey, open-minded, it's going real good. 
had a good successful day today and we got some some new sweet donation decks to play yeah return to Nia legends Walk with me. Hopefully we draw land. I Yay. Welcome to the feast. Alright, I, I should probably just kill this. Oko, okay, even though it's better for me to like play the Midnight Reaper. Again. Uh, like as far as Wicked Wolf goes, it's good for me to play the Midnight Reaper because I get a trigger off of Worthy Knight and I have the Midnight Reaper to draw another card. But of course. Oko is strong enough that we just need to get rid of it. Yeah, Oko is just banned in Brawl, not in Standard. Your king, wild oh, this and isn't great. sovereign and free. Um, I have not seen any Naya control deck at all. Your new look is enchanting. But no, I, I don't know anything about a Naya control deck. Ugh, this isn't great. This is not great. <laughs> All right, so we'll have we'll have an obnoxious grasp after sideboard to help out with destroying Oko's. I have Midnight Reapers. One bite, and all your cares should be a great draw gone. step. Gonna try to draw the extra card. Let's hope we can find Midnight Reaper. Or not Midnight Reaper, um, Murderous Rider, sorry. Alright, but we are hitting land drops, that's good. So I can either play Soren. Or acclaimed contender and knight of the Ebon Legion. I'm gonna go with the the two of these. I I should have just led with knight of the Ebon Legion first, but we know they don't really have removal. All right, still no murderous rider. But yeah, went went with the acclaimed contender to dig five for murderous rider. Um, we're just going to go bigger than this wolf, you know, like with ethereal absolutions and stuff. And, you know, like this thing's a lot bigger than it. I'm not too worried about the wicked wolf. This is the card I'm worried about. We will prevail. I guess I could be worried about Nissa too. The land shall conquer you.
but you know like oko turns clackbridge troll into an into an elk and that's a problem loyalty is fickle and fragile Still no murderous rider. So we know the bottom five cards aren't that. So we've gone through tw we've gone we've gone through twenty two cards so far. They have an instant. Okay. So basically, I want to be able to hold up the Knight of the Yebin Legion activation to kind of keep them from being able to attack. That's good for me. Rise, my elemental friend. No, I'm not playing any Brawl today. I have a bunch of donation decks to play. And then we didn't get to the Grixis of Mass yesterday, so we'll see if we get to it today. and put on your true shape. <laughs> I know, right? If we can get three absolutions out there, that'll work really well against Nissa and Oko. We can get a third one out there. I mean, we have to just jump block, unfortunately. Be wary of the ground you walk on.
I think, like... I'm kind of thinking, like, the only way for me to stay alive is to play Clackbridge Troll here. I don't think I can really afford to play the other Ethereal Absolution and stay alive. This, if they tap this, the three life is, you know, pretty valuable. Snacking the Wicked Wolf. Okay. Alright, so now it's either sack the food or play Worthy Knight. Um No, I yeah, I did I did not get to play Grixis Mass yesterday. Okay, that's good. They drew a land, that's good. A brazen borrower doesn't do anything. I have a theoretical absolution in play. It doesn't do anything. Let's broaden your existence. Yes, yeah, Storm, yeah, Star, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Behold nature's true power. So not dead. Just attacking here. <clears throat> I'll take that. Hopefully we draw a one or a two mana knight. Well, that's not bad either. Um, I have to get rid of that Oko. Even though Nissa's about to ultimate. <laughs> it's just... It's just... I have to get rid of Oko. Alright, so we're... We're good. Because I need... I need, like, this Murderous Rider to be a lifelinker. Come on. A third I one? Invert the world to watch kings grovel and <laughs> Each time, like, right after I killed one, their next turn is just playing another one. Got to be kidding me. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. No, I really don't. Harness the elements. Yeah, and just never don't have Oko. Okay. 
yeah, their creatures are about to have indestructible, but I would have I would have larger creatures with Murderous Rider being a lifelinker. They couldn't really attack. Again, Brazen Borrower dies the, the second they play it. Brazen Borrower dies instantly to Ethereal Absolution. So yeah, now drawing a third Ethereal Absolution would get rid of all these forests and would basically make Nyssa useless. Get rid of all of those forests over here. Oh dear. Okay, good. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. All right, time to start making large flyers. Yeah, we got flyers. We have flyers right here. Surely you must be famished. So we're good. <laughs> you want to fight something with a 1-1? One -one? Go ahead. All right, that's fine. To be alone. The land fights for us. Love to draw another ethereal absolution. That'd be pretty clutch. So these things have no... Like, are these things... These things aren't indestructible? Lands you control have indestructible. Because, yeah, these are not lands anymore. Like these are indestructible, those are not indestructible. Yay. Nice Nissa.
Yeah, it'll be a shame if all your indestructible lands die. I agree. Just attack them. Fine, remain blind. All right, back up to 22. I demand servitude. I don't think I really care about this Nissa besides, you know, for Hydroid Crisis. Like, I'll, I'll kill it next turn. Yeah, they can make a giant crisis, but that's okay. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, looks like for Ethereal Absolution, definitely the way to go. Okay, so now I definitely want these Noxious Grasps. And I think that's all I want. I could have to spark for Wicked Wolf. As we saw there, I wasn't too worried about Wicked Wolf. The spark also hits Nessa, of course. But the more knights I take out, the worse it is for Worthy Knight and Acclaimed Contender. Um, yeah, Legion's End works on Forest, yep. Okay, if we just bring in these Noxious Grass, what do we want to cut? See, this Wintermore Commander can be, like, really good in this matchup, though. It's a thing, I don't, I don't really have things I want to necessarily cut. I mean, it's, it's honestly kind of Clackbridge Troll, because we saw it against Oko not really work that well. Um, it did great with Ethereal Absolution, but I'm going to just trim one, and we'll, I guess we'll trim a commander, and then maybe a contender, since I took out a knight, because if I just take out other knights, it's just going to be worse for a contender. All right, here we go. Yeah, the troll, the trolls are are one of my weaker cards in the matchup, but this is a, a troll deck, so I don't want to just move away from trolls completely. Yeah, there's four Goblet Shrines. Hey, noob in training, getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much there, After Wizard. Santa After Wizard, I, I really appreciate that. All right, so it's our first sub of the day. Well, we only got four lands, so you Shouldn't keep a five drop when you only have four lands. Yeah, it did the thing. Yeah, the the four ethereal absolution worked out very well. Yay. That was the card I was hoping they were gonna play.
Ups. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you. Welcome to the feast. All right, everything's working out. So far, so good. I mean, nothing wrong with Paragon. It's just not a card that we're really going to need because we're going to go troll, Ethereal Absolution troll, you know, like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I would rather look for some removal for Nissa. Behold, nature's true power. Or we'll just draw more Paragons. You know, or that. Because the Knight has had Death Touch and Life Link. Made a mono blue mill deck, ton of fun, actually fairly competitive. Nice. Unsummon, Callus Dismissal, run away together, and replay in Merfolk Secret Keeper. Yeah, that sounds pretty sweet. Mirror made for more drown secrets. Awesome. Harness the elements. Attacking with those goats. Nah, they should attack with the goats. Alright, certainly hoping they don't have counter magic or bounce. Something like that. You know, like they got this island up over here. Hope they don't have negate. Resolve. Resolve. Yay. Well, that's, un that's unfortunate. Nessa's taking, you know, two less damage there now. You try my patience. Oh, I guess I'm taking lethal now. No, oh, I guess I couldn't make that attack. I forgot. I didn't count that thing as four damage. All right, couldn't make the attack. On the swing back. All right, so like what we got going on. I think that plays out just like it did, but us on the play, I think that'd be very good for us. <laughs> yeah, you can call that one a punt. Yeah, that's fine. That was a punt. All right, we got our land drops. That's good. Ooh, that's a good two drop. Why turn to Oko? Revel with your king, wild uh. and sovereign and free. Surely you must be famished. Lord. You're lucky we drew this. I grace you with and by my you, I mean me. Of
Sure. It hasn't been that long of a match there, Matthew. I guess my opponent's just been playing really slow. I am very surprised they didn't just block with Wicked Wolf. I'm very surprised. Or, sorry, block with Gilded Goose. I'm surprised they just attacked with Wicked Wolf and didn't block and just let me kill Oko. I'm not really sure why my opponent did all that. The land shall conquer you. The Mad Cow, thanks for that tier one sub. I appreciate that. All right, that's our second sub of the day. Battle Bro Show, get in on the hype as well. Thank you. All right, come on, troll. Take the three 
Oh, I should attack with Midnight Reaper there. I should have attacked with Midnight Reaper. I think that's a good trade, trading it for Krasis. Because the Krasis is a flyer that I'm never going to be able to block. We will not fail. Gross. The land of course, that, that was obviously just their draw step because they would have definitely played it before the Krasis if they would have had it. So yeah, it's just my opponent's just playing really slow. I didn't think it was that long of a match. Yay. I guess I, I guess I should have played Soren first. Could have gained a lot of life here. Uh, Black Lance only works on knights. The troll's not a knight. My strength fades. Oh, uh, you don't like you don't like my background right now, will there? I think I need a green screen. I'm not a big fan of the green screens. Myself. Um So basically I'm kinda of holding it because I can trigger Worthy Knight and make another 1-1 one -one with it. That's why I'm holding it. Oh, you like the, the Todd window? I can't really respond by... Oh, I don't even have Noxious Grasp anyway, so I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so I could go minus two to get this Worthy Knight back, but I, I want to do that without my Soren dying. I'm going to take up two first.
All right. Want to know? Our opponent just had turn two Oko, turn three Wicked Wolf, kill your thing, turn four Oko, and then turn five Nissa. And we fought through all that. So yeah, my opponent didn't want to pay the, the toll because they didn't want me to draw cards. I, you know, top decked a, f a few, you know, twice I top decked a Planeswalker removal spell just in time. They let their second Oko die way too easily. Yeah, we did it. All right. Um, looks like we're keeping this. Do we put back the third temple or the godless shrine? Probably the third temple. Oh, yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, I had some really good top decks there that game. Twice. Like, once to kill the first Oko and once to kill the Nissa. I drew Planeswalker removal immediately. Hey, thanks after wizard. Thanks for gifting out a sub and Nabo Chetesta. Welcome to the stream. And Radical Guru. Getting the sub as well. Thanks after wizard. Okay, our opponent just has a lonely island over there. Castle Vantress. So it's basically two routes that this deck could have been. It could have been like a blue control deck, or it could just be a, a counterspell heavy deck. And against the counterspell heavy deck, I want to just um, activate Knight. I mean, a claimed contender is good. But we also kind of need land to turn on the rest of our hand. Hey, it's all good, Nabo. Now you got uh, your emotes that you get to use. No lands over there, huh? Yeah, my opponent's playing like a mono blue tempo. A lot of counter spells. This is gonna be it's gonna be tough for us to win with our current hand. Honestly. All playing Clackbridge Troll does is let my opponent counter it and they're just going to outrace us with the three damage to one damage. Because they're not playing lands over there. They got seven spells in hand. There's no way they don't have something to counter Clackbridge Troll. <laughs> so hyper Disney Plus. 
Uh, not so much. I don't think I'm going to be getting Disney Plus. I don't know what a what the Mandalorian show is. I don't know anything about that. Why would they not just block with the, or why would they not just attack with Cutthroat? They're planning on blocking here. Yeah, this is a rough game one matchup for sure. I'm going to be boarding out trolls and ethereal absolutions. Like we just can't, we can't play like these five and six mana cards for this matchup. So the fact that we have drawn two of them, two of each of them, you know, we've drawn four cards that I'm, I'm just instantly boarding out is unfortunate. Let's see. There's no way this actually works, right? I mean, this is my only chance. All they need is a bounce spell. all I needed <laughs> yeah they we had a full house in hand all right so these are all coming out and we're gonna go ahead and put in some duress legion's end don't really have enough because I don't want noxious grass don't want to spark so I guess I guess I gotta play two of these other cards. And so I think that's gonna be the two trolls. I don't think Kaya's Wrath really um, works too much, works too well. There hasn't been any commercials, bounties for the Man Mandalorian. The star okay, it's a Star Wars TV show, gotcha. Um, yeah, they're they're for sure mono blue. Um, to, to spark, to spark's not going to do anything. You got the card style for Nicol Bolas for, for your Brawl deck. Very nice. It's a good thing Worthy Knight's a cast. Trigger. All right, so they're not mono blue. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, so is it so they'll have good removal for our cheap creatures? Um, for like our low toughness creatures in particular. Unfortunately, I have a lot of low toughness creatures here.
Okay. Well, time to attack. Our first draw with the Worthy Knight was really good. But we haven't... You know, haven't drawn anything else too good. All right, here we go. Yeah, Grix is a mess. I have it for the last deck today because we have like some other um, donation decks to get to first. So we'll see if we have enough time. We may, we may not, and we may have to get moved to tomorrow. So they're going to have shows with the Falcon and Winter Soldier. Are they going to have like the same characters that play the Marvel characters in in the movies like on the TV shows? Like the same actors and actresses. Is that guess what I'm asking there? I would love to be able to draw with Castle, but I just don't think we can afford the four life. Yep, so now we get to make creatures. The White Castle, as far as lands go, is the best land that we could draw for sure. Yeah, we're playing the, the decks, the other decks, yeah, usually about one to two hours. It's um, We play until we either win five or lose two. We're playing in the events, um, and that's that's the thing. So we either we get to five wins or two losses, whichever happens first. Well, at least we're playing around Quench. They're going to have to have a hard counter spell. Wilderness Reclamation with Castle. Be able to make a lot of 1 1s, untap your lands. That could be a thing. Could be like Bant Control or something. Could have like Fires of Invention also with Castle.
They'd have to be able to play... Okay, I was going to say, they'd have to be able to play two spells to make the Cutthroat bigger than the Paragon, and... So they'd have to be, like, the two spells in hand would both have to be able to be, like, one and two mana instants. A Naya Fires deck. Yeah, I could see something like that. Um, definitely could not side out two lands. It could have maybe sided out one land. But would not want to go under 24 at all. Yeah, the Clackbridge Troll life gain is really nice. We're doing just fine here. We're doing just fine. I'm going to let them make this op decision first, but I'm going to be using the Murderous Rider to kill this Cutthroat. Now that they only just have the one mana, we know we can't really... Um, they can't really have Negate anymore. But I want them to make that decision with... Um, with opt first before knowing that their 5-4 was going to leave. They have to kind of, they kind of have to just keep sacrificing creatures. Like this eight eight is a huge problem for them. Red removal is not going to do it. They can find more bounce, like more brazen borrowers. Yeah, gaining three life, drawing a card. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Um, ugh. play another troll. Definitely. Oh, you think I should have used Castle Lock Twain? No, I don't. I don't think we need to do that. The other thing all those land land drops did for us is it made sure that we didn't, or, you know, it got us out of quench range. You know, never really had to worry about quench at all. So Legion's End is basically only for uh, Brianborn Cutthroat, I think. They may have the one drop, um, the one drop flyer, Spectral Sailor. They may have that as well. But yeah, Troll looked really good there. Let's go ahead and try the trolls again. I don't think I really want Ethereal Absolution. No, this is standard. Brawl, you can only have one of each card in your deck. And you have a commander. We don't have either of those. Yeah, revealing their hand with Legion's End is really nice. Hmm. 
I'm guessing that's somebody who meant to hit the mulligan button and accidentally hit the, the key button and had a really bad hand and just gave up. Hey, we got a circle of loyalty, got a mythic. That is awesome. There's only a couple more mythics that, that I don't have in the set. We got one there. All right, 2-0. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing any brawl this week, but, you know, maybe next week, uh, maybe next Wednesday. But, yeah, whenever, you know, of course, brawl is only on Wednesdays. But, yeah, whenever I do play Wednesday, of course, I'll have it just like, like always, you know, I'll just be on the stream like normal, I'll have it on the YouTube channel and everything like that, too. So that'll be, it'll be all over there. Looks like we may need to reset arena again after this game with the memory leak memory leak issues. Hey Wrangler, doing good. Doing good. Valraz the Scar Striped. With Scavenge. Scavenge was a pretty cool ability. Not really saving these Knight of the Ebon Legions for Worthy Knights. Pretty sure this next turn I'm just going to be pumping Knight of the Ebon Legion. Try to do d enough damage to get counters on him. Now I'll have Worthy Knight plus Paragon the next turn. And these are attacking for enough to keep getting counters. Tale about me is absolute nonsense. And welcome to the feast. So the main problem is Wicked Wolf next turn. You know, if I just activate Knight, kill the Oko, they Wicked Wolf kill a Knight. I can't really prevent that, though. I could by just keeping activation open, but then they get to keep Oko around. If I attack them, I put them down to seven, and we get two counters on these, and we can have three, four knights, but three, four knights still die to Wicked Wolf. It's just worth it getting Oko off the battlefield. Wallow in your deceit. Um, I wouldn't say we should, we should expect... Um, Oko to be banned on the 18th because it was banned in Brawl, but it's it wouldn't be surprising. But I don't think we should expect it. I don't know why they sacked a food and tapped their Wicked Wolf, but I'm glad they did. So I can trade my Midnight Reaper for their Wicked Wolf if I go the, the Black Lance Paragon route. But I'm going Clackbridge Troll. Start getting more cards. Clackbridge Troll is the kind of card that it's the best to get it down 
in play as early as possible. Because, you know, it's it's basically a, a planeswalker as a creature, you know, it's it's like, you know, first turn you gain three life draw card, then you gain three life draw card, gain three life draw card, and then it starts hitting kind of thing. And that gain life draw card Open your heart to helps dig us towards ethereal absolution. I think a little merriment is in order. See? Dig towards ethereal absolution. Perfect. So now if they want to tap the troll, they got a sack of wolf. Hey, Triton. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, they didn't they didn't elk the troll because they thought they could just sack another one of those things and they wanted a food to be able to keep the wicked wolves alive. I'm glad they didn't, of course, but Alright, so in grasp. Um If I just take out the Wintermore Commanders in general, I know, Ethereal Absolution is pretty great. Um, if we just take those out, 4, four 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, so I still have 15 other knights, I guess technically two others, so 16, 17 other knights for a, an acclaimed contender. Hmm. Yeah, to spark hits Wolf and Nyssa. I don't know, like this, these trolls have just looked good. I'll play one Dispark, though. I'm basically cutting an extra Wintermore Cavalier from the last time when I sideboarded. Last time I'd cut, I trimmed one Troll, one um, Contender, one Wintermore. This time I'm going to trim two Wintermores and bring in a Dispark. I didn't bring in a Dispark last time. Hey, Flarm. Okay, pretty good hand. I guess we have to get rid of a land, I guess. So I probably want to keep these other cards. Um, I don't have a whole lot of double white, do I? What do I got for double white? Uh, absolutely nothing. Okay, absolutely nothing. So I'll get rid of the... I mean, I guess technically the, um, the, the white castle... Is a double white. What effects you had the best fun performance ratio recently? Um, the the Gadwick deck we played yesterday was was pretty good. Um, yeah, Reaper would be nice. Um, let's see what. I mean, it's that's kind of hard because like some people like, you know, control decks a whole lot. Some people, you know, don't. They like the aggro decks more. So I don't. It's kind of hard for me to answer. Um, that. I guess this link here. This should be a link to like my favorites. 
like on the YouTube channel. I have a link for favorites there. No, we're not getting any brawl today. Unfortunately, I guess we'll we'll definitely. I guess I should definitely do brawl next Wednesday because we have had more more people ask to see brawl than I was expecting. So of course, Blacklands Paragon, like it. It pairs so well with Knight of the Ebon Legion, because now this is four damage if they don't block that they're taking that pumps Knight of the Ebon Legion. Alright, they did if they didn't block, I wouldn't activate. I would have I would have held up Murder's Rider if they didn't block. But they blocked and I wanna start growing this. Yeah, I think so. I think a lot of people enjoy the best of one day Monday. They just can't see it. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on that. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. There's a lot of players that This is my cue to exit. Um Either you know, don't really have time for the best 2 out of 3 or don't really like sideboarding too much. They just want to play like their deck, play their one game and stuff and and they really like that. Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who believes them? Welcome to the feast. Negate. Boo. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Fairness? What a bizarre expectation. We need to keep drawing lands. We need them to draw lands. I didn't. It took me a little bit to, to realize that the Oko was at one loyalty and we could kill it with the Soren there. Sorry, that, that probably. You're probably like, uh, you should just kill that thing with Soren. I was just. I was really thinking about, like, if I should, like, play Soren in minus or should I play this or this? Yeah. Yeah, that's what y'all are saying. Kill Oko. Yep, sorry. Took me a, took me a second to see that. Darn, at first I thought they were going to not attack Soren. Let me get away with that. Let me just keep Soren. Familiar with pain. I abhor my need for blood. So I would like to draw land here, play Ethereal Absolution first, and then play Troll. Um, not the other way around. I prefer that. Well, I mean, now we can. Now we got we have good defense out there anyway, so I, I can just play troll next turn. If we don't draw a land, it'll, it'll be just fine. Stop. I don't have any Legion's End in the deck right now. So these two are going to be a problem. A triumph. If I Murderous Rider the 5-5, five five, it means we're not taking 5 damage every turn from it. 
But then if they play Oko... If they play Oko or Nissa... I don't know, that could be bad for me. Let's just play the troll first. Yep, need to start drawing. Um, I do like Ethereal Absolution more than Circle of Loyalty. I'm not sure if we really need four of them, but they've been good. All right, looks like we're gonna have to kill Crisis. <clears throat> All right, well, that helps. All right, so we're looking good. Yeah, the troll has been working for us. You know, like we, you know, this this game, we've gained six life, drawn two cards so far. And they're going to have to just keep on sacrificing creatures and stuff. It's a good draw for us, them drawing Paradise Druid. Yeah, we've got that, got that nice sideboard card there with the Noxious Grasp. So I could play the Soren first for lifelink, but I'm expecting they're going to sacrifice a goose here. Okay, or not. I guess they get to, oh, they get to activate knight with goose. That's their plan. So I'm going to Murderous Rider, the Knight of the Ebon Legion. Clackbridge Troll has Trample. So I can let it block just like it doesn't matter. If I murderous ride it, rider it after blockers. I got rid of both of their food tokens. Ethereal Absolution will be able to make two two flyers. So I guess the the crisis really isn't that. Isn't that problematic? Alright, cool. I was just gonna sack the food token and gain three life here. And keep the Noxious Grasp. Yeah, I have to say that I've been super impressed with Ethereal Absolution. I'm not really worried about Nyssa, honestly. I already have the Noxious Grasp. Like, I wasn't going to use Noxious Grasp on Krasis. I was going to be able to keep that for a Planeswalker. Mm. 
<laughs> no, a, a negative one goose does not let you heal on it on whenever they hit us. No, you don't gain a life if they have negative power. Hey, Sky Warner, welcome from the UK. Welcome. Um, Knight's Charge would work in the deck, but you'd you'd kind of have to take out. You'd have to take out like the troll and the absolution part to fit it in, because you wouldn't want to take because it's either that or take out knights. I mean, I guess you could take out Soren. So basically, you just want to, you know, you you could play the same type of deck but have knights charge for a top end instead of troll absolution. Hmm. That is really bad for me. That's really unfortunate. It's a great blocker. <sighs> yeah, no Leon drop. A little rough. A little rough there. Yeah, this is overextending into Kaya's Wrath. We're going to be really bad against Kaya's... If they have Kaya's Wrath anyway, it's going to be pretty rough for us. So I'm going to just... Dude, I'm just going to extend. And hope they don't have it. Didn't work out. Yeah, it looks like Foulmire Knight is just like a, you know, they can use it to cycle and then just have a nice early blocker with it. But it looks like regular Esper dance, Doom Foretold stuff. Yeah, Dance was was always terrible against Field of the Dead, and so just ever since Field of the Dead got banned, people have been trying to bring it back. I could like very, very slowly exile their graveyard. You know, four mana, you get to exile one target card. It's just not something that I'm too interested in doing though. It's 
So bringing in Dispark to exile Doom Foretold. And then Duress, of course. The Citadel should be nice. Um, last card to take out. I'm, I'm considering cutting Murderous Rider. I think it's it's between Murderous Rider, Wintermore Commander. I'll take out two Riders, one Commander. We'll go with that. That's true. If we have all four ethereal absolutions on the table, we don't have to worry about dance. They all resolve and everything. If we have every single one of them. Good. <sighs> All right, we'll just get that thing out of here. Um, Soren can bring back the Worthy Knight also. The one problem with Soren minusing is that then it it opens me up to Othakaya. I will have revenge for House Markov. You belong to me now. By opens me up to Othakaya, I mean it opens Soren up. Is what I mean. Uh, no land. Vampirism is a useful trait. We're just getting trolled over here with no fifth land. I can wait That's unfortunate. Hmm. That thing blocks troll perfectly. I don't know if perfectly is the right word. You still gotta take a lot of trample damage. All right, so we should start drawing a lot of cards. Now we want to get a sixth land. We don't really need more than that, but we want a sixth land when we want Bola Citadel, because we have like infinite life over here. You've got to be kidding me. can't do like the whole bunch of trample damage too much anymore. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, four lands and a duress. Um, the the black castle will miss that one. Now I want to save the other troll in case of sweeper. This plays around Doom Foretold. All right, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, we could have had a way worse Scry 5. <laughs> yeah, we drew all, all four trolls. Yeah, this is Blur. <laughs> Thanks, Storm. Ugh. That hurts. The second one, that hurts. That really hurts. I'm going to have to... Oh, wait, no, I won't have to discard. Attack. <laughs> Block and saving that one life. Well, that's bad news. All right, still this will be a great time to draw Bola Citadel. It's friend Godless Shrine. Oh, I should have attacked. Whoops, I should have attacked. <clears throat> Lame. Warrior Queen Necromancer has a nice ring to it. I need this murder rider. Smelly but effective. Yay, Citadel.
Um, I guess I put the other citadel down to the bottom. That one's pretty good. I will rise again. Doubt it. Turns out having infinite life with Bola Citadel is pretty good. Who would have known? Oh no, another dance? No, so that gets rid of Citadel? Ugh. What a top deck. What a top deck. Well, Citadels are legendary. Playing the other one would not have mattered. We would have just had one in the graveyard instead of... Now at least we have one at the bottom of the library instead of in the graveyard. I don't really have a way to shuffle the library, though. I guess they want me to draw that card. No, I don't have any Fable Passages. Man, what a top deck there with that dance. Because obviously one more turn the game was over because we were going to be able to have enough permanence to make them lose 10 life with the Citadel. Like if... Like, they had to draw at that turn. They, they weren't getting another turn. Um, I only have two Sorens in the deck. So we've used one. So there's one Soren left. Why does this human look like that and all the other ones don't? Oh, the Citadels are just in the sideboard. My best card to draw right now is the Black Castle. To draw multiple cards a turn. Unfortunately, I know one of the two black. I have two black castles, and I know one of them are one of them's down here in these five cards that we saw earlier with the acclaimed contender. I'm hoping my opponent's only playing two dance. Like we've gotten rid of two dance and a Liliana. That's kind of usually like what they have for win for win cons. I guess they could have a third third dance. Do y'all think they're playing three? dance if I don't play anything I have to discard so it's either I discard this paragon or I play it and it gets sacrificed oh, okay you think most of them play three well that's not good
yeah, this it does kill Doom by not playing it. So I think I, that's what I'm going to do is is just get rid of the Doom because otherwise I'm in just the same predicament next turn and each turn afterwards, and they got all these eggs here to sacrifice. Like, like three dance, what? Yeah, just the one Liliana and maybe an Ugin. So they have maybe one dance, one Ugin left. Those Foulmire Knights were so good at slowing me down. So yeah, my, my best draw right now is... Um, is... The Black Castle. Did I get disconnected? I don't know, the fox is still moving. Fox is still moving. Yeah, so I'm not going to play this. It doesn't seem like my opponent's even playing Teferi. Which would be weird. We hadn't seen him last game or this game at all. I don't know what pets are client side means. Does that mean I'm, I know I'm not disconnected because of this? Okay, there we go. Hmm. Hopefully they just have an Ugin left and no not hopefully not a third dance and just an Ugin. Maybe they sideboard out a dance. Pretty aggressive. They have to have another Murderous Rider. That's got to be a card in their hand. Uh, opponent has 17 minutes left. I have 20. I don't think time's not really a factor here. <laughs> literally calling every play yet. I've played a little bit of magic in my day.
I think that's their last one of these. Maybe not. I guess that was last game. Uh, no, I'm not really going for the deck out win. I don't think that's probably going to happen. Yay. Um, I don't get anything with a claimed contender, but they can't attack anymore. So it's worth it. You have to have another knight for it to, tr to trigger, but they can't attack with these two threes. Now. Which is pretty important for our life total to be high with Castle Lock Twain. I'm just playing the 7-7. Seven, seven. Hey Jonas Peters, thanks for that resub for 11 wonderful months. Thank you so much there, Jonas. All right, now we got multiple acclaimed contenders. We get to dig. Uh, we're putting our other Soren down at the bottom now. I'm not going to spark the Roam Cloak Giant. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I'd rather have Dispark for an Ugin. Or, I don't know, something scarier. What have we seen Kaya's Wrath-wise? Two? Two Kai's Wrath so far. So I could triple block. Kills my Midnight Reaper and a Claim Contender and I draw two. Or I could just go like this and just kill the two acclaim contenders, but I feel like acclaim contender is pretty good against that. I kind of want to do this and just draw two. This is going to be kind of difficult to kill my opponent before I'm out of cards. Another Arden Veil, that's nice. Looks like they found a third dance. So it looks like we're dead. No, my opponent's not playing a budget version. They're playing the cards they want to play. Yeah, I have a lot of creatures. Win, win cons? Yeah. This thing makes creatures. I have a lot of creatures in my deck. Um, any way to beat a third dance with a man's? No. That's if, you're, if that's your question. Like, 
Like, this is definitely game. I don't have a Kaya's Wrath or anything like that. So we were one turn away from winning that. They had no cards in hand. I duressed away Dance. They had two possible cards they could have drawn in their whole deck to stay alive with the two Dances that they had left. And they drew it in one turn. Oh well. All right, we're three and one. I'm gonna reset Arena. As y'all saw, I was just getting really slow and everything. I hadn't reset yet. And it's been two hours into this league. All right. Yep, GG's. Um, no, standard's not killing arena. Thanks, Matthew. Yep, I tried. Huh. This could be a pretty crazy hand. We'll see what happens. This is like triple hero, hero of precinct one, except for the heroes trigger each other. Yeah, if if you if you're expecting Dance of the Mance, you can definitely play Ashiok in the sideboard. That's that's the best sideboard card there is um, for that matchup. Yeah, that yeah, having to put the second Citadel down to the bottom that was brutal. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. Surely you must be famished. I'll think up a fun fate for you. Do they just have Wicked Wolf on turn three also? We've faced this so much. Turn two, Oko. Turn three, Wicked Wolf. Kill your worthy knight. That's happened so many games. It's happened so many games. Welcome to the games. feast. All right, so they're keeping Oko alive. You are fouler than a fiend. Hmm. Commander's going to have huge toughness here. Oh wait, number of knights you control, not creatures. <laughs> Ninety nine percent probability of Nissa on turn four as well. Oh uh, no, Golgari Queen. You were right with Devastating Planeswalker. 
Yeah, that part, right? One bite, and all your cares are gone. Ugh. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. Be surprised if we meet again. Time for a drink. Oko has a lot of loyalty. I don't know if y'all figured that out yet. Oko has a lot of loyalty. That thing's hard to deal with. Welcome to the feast. So my plan was to minus for Worthy Knight, but if I do that, then my Soren's gonna die. Oh well, I guess it's gonna die. One bite, and all Seven loyalty. What a joke. May death find you quickly. I've already done seven damage to Oko, and it still has seven loyalty.
quite the nibble. I couldn't do anything with the Paragons. I couldn't, like, save anything. Yeah, my opponent had a pretty awesome hand here with these Wicked Wolves. Yeah, I've currently done 13 damage to this Oko. This turn <laughs> two Oko. Haven't been able to kill it yet. They're at 16. All right, the Yoko's finally out of here, and we got rid of that Krasis, so that's good. That's good. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Elements. The main question is whether or not I attack with the acclaimed contender in Black Lance Paragon. If I do, they go block, 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 block. They take seven down to five. I have seven creatures left. If I don't, they can go block, block, block. Yeah, I'm going to kill the Nissa. I must seek comfort in the land. All right, they're down to 4. Right. I kind of forgot about the just attack back. Yeah, I know they're gonna just gain a lot of life with Krasis. I don't, I don't know. I was in a pretty terrible spot. All right, same quick sideboarding we've been doing. Could bring the Noxious Grasp and one to Spark, and trim around the edges. Yeah, I wasn't really focused on my life total. Let's focus on some way to kill them. Which is going to be really difficult. All 
I'm going to shock on turn one to play the Knight of the Ebon Legion. No, no, we don't need to. Basically, I don't really want to, like, turn two shock in the Goblet Shrine to hold up Grasp. And kind of, like, give it away that I have Grasp. But I guess it, it may scare my opponent with, like, Black Lance Paragon. And it's, it's possible they don't have Goose. If they don't have Goose, then I don't need to have Grasp. Perfect. All right, that was three lands and an absolution down to the bottom. Which isn't great when I need more lands. Could have just activated Knight to play a new Knight and had a double two threes, but this is just going to be Wicked Wolf. Which I don't know why it wouldn't be Wicked Wolf, because they just have shown they can just have millions of Wicked Wolves. And I'd rather have the two creatures out there. Good. You should leave. The fool and I wanted that take. I guess the day's your lucky day. Any land. Come on. Not often I'm outmaneuvered. Open your heart to the magic that dances around. It's not poison. 
Trust me. Swallow in your deceit. So they shocked in to be able to make another food with the goose. I want to see if there's a Nyssa for me to just bark. Otherwise, we'll just get rid of this wolf. Oh, there's another wolf. Where are these lands? <laughs> Need two lands. Hopefully Midnight Reaper helps us find some more lands. Must be nice. There's no lands anywhere. I've had four lands forever. Well, I mean, we have we have a ton of stuff. They don't have very much. If we would actually draw lands and be able to play our hand, we'll, we'll be good. But we'll see if that ends up being the case or not. Yay. We lost three lands with a claim contender earlier, wasn't four. I think the second one was either two or three lands. The first one was three. The second one was either two or three. I don't remember exactly which one. I will aid you. The land fights for us. Like playing troll, like they just don't they don't have to. Like they have these blockers, they don't have to start sacrificing anything. 
If I knew that I would just be able to gain three life, draw cards, I would probably play the troll here. So they may not figure that out though. That's good. Good draw. It's another thing that dies to ethereal absolutions. So that's good for us. And that's just fine too. It's a very small creature. I really thought we were going to have ethereal absolution here. Yay! Alright. Let's pay two life. Play our first of two absolutions. We'll play our second one next turn. So they can still sack three food. They can double block sack three food and kill my troll. So I don't think it's worth an attack yet. The next one, I still want to play the next one, get rid of this goose, make those wolves 2-2s, two make my troll a 10-10, get rid of that goose too. My opponent has drawn pretty bad the last like six turns have all just been like lands or geese or um, paradise druids, that's definitely helped us. So they'd have to sack every single food to kill my troll here. What if I just attack out? And like block here, block here, block here. Our blocks aren't great, but I'll still just I'll play it easy. Like we don't we don't have to risk anything. We're certainly gonna be winning this, so don't have don't have to be Don't have to be hasty. All right, I'll play a second to spark instead of that other contender. Uh, I mean, it has trample. So yeah, they could sack one food and block, but that would just save them three life. I 
<laughs> Thanks, Adventosaurus. Yeah, it's what, what makes Clackbridge Troll so good is it tramples and can do a whole lot of damage. If it didn't trample, you just wouldn't have to sack the goat tokens. You would just block with the goat tokens if it didn't trample. I mean, I really like that we hit land drops, but if they play turn two Oko, I'm just dead. So I have to mulligan. Um, this is a good hand. I don't want to put any of these back. I'm not putting one of the lands back. I, I need to keep three lands. So that's out of the table. Um, I need to keep Noxious Grasp. I think it's one of the two knights. And I guess the Ebon Legion does a little bit more on its own. It's not turn two, Oko. Turn three, wolf. Yeah, that opens me up to another wolf. Where if I just sit back, I could hold it. I could, you know, spend three mana in response to the other wolf. But I don't think I play around a second wolf. I think I'm just supposed to get the damage in with my deck here. I'm glad I got the damage in. It's time to see Papa. Don't be surprised if we meet again. I don't think I sit back and let them draw cards. Have been with that thing, obviously I'd rather use this on Nissa or Oko, but I don't feel like they have Nissa or Oko because they, they haven't played either one. They probably have Noxious Grasp for one of their cards. And I, I kind of thought their other card was Krasis. I thought it was like Noxious Grasp, Krasis. But they didn't play Krasis there. That would have been a good spot for it, so I'm glad. Let me bash in there. I don't want to trade Reaper for Paradise Druid with us having Absolution. I don't want to make that trade. Yep. Pretty positive they have 
Noxious Grass was one of their two cards. That's great for me. It's not great for me. <laughs> yeah, Hentak, you have a cat on your keyboard. Together, we will prevail. Ugh, gross. The well, hopefully we draw a knight. Conquered. And we can play the knight, then acclaim contender. Cool. The contender will get... Not just grasped, but... We'll at least get the trigger. Um, we take the Worthy Knight. That was a lot of spells we put down to the bottom. I would, you know, want to hit, put a bunch of lands down to the bottom, of course. Yeah, I think it's kind of weird that they're playing Noxious Grass, but that's just, they had it last game. Nissa and then Oko the back to back. To watch kings grovel and worms rule. Those are some good draw steps. I invite you to change your ways. I mean, maybe they don't have grasp. That'd be really nice. Behold, nature's true power. Nope, they did. I grace you with my lack of presence. So basically, I don't want the Nissa to be able to ultimate. As long as they don't ultimate Nissa, we're okay. Be wary of the ground. They don't have any good attacks here. Um. Yeah. I was going to be able to make two 2-2 two, two flyers this next turn. All right, we're four and one. Two hours and 40 minutes into the league. Yeah, the Menace didn't matter. They didn't have a good attack with the Menace creature. I had a three, four lifelinker and a two, two, and I just double block with those. They trade their three, three Menace for my two, two, and I gain three life. Like that's a, that's a terrible attack. All right, we'll go ahead and do one more reset. What happened that Jund Adventures fell so hard? I'm not sure. 
I don't think it's a bad deck. Yeah, the Absolution's been working really well. I, I wouldn't have taken a damage from the Reaper because Reaper only triggers on non-tokens. I would have had a token die. They did not have a, a possible attack that would have done any damage to me. All right. Let's go final boss play of this. If they attacked out, I would have taken zero damage if they would have even attacked out. So I didn't need to hold back Midnight Reaper. And they would have had three they would have had three creatures die. And I would have taken zero damage even if they attacked with everything. Attack with just Masker Girl, I gain three, and their Masker Girl dies, and my two two dies. So yeah, we've we've de been defeating a lot of Okos here. That's three three Oko matches in our five, or is it four? Hopefully we draw spells. We're on the draw here, our hand's kinda bad. I think it's been four Okos. I think we're 4-0 against Oko. Alright, scry for a spell. Ugh, that is a spell, but it's another five drop. Hmm. Yeah, bottom. I'm pretty excited to play the Grixis and Mass deck. Yeah, that was one I put together um, as like a throwback. I'm excited to play it. I think I think it could uh, be pretty good. Which deck do you think will do the best today? By guessing, I think the, I think out of these, the four color food's the best deck, out of them. Of course, that's the one with Oko. But I've been very, very pleasantly surprised by this deck here. No, we've we've done no because we played against that other the blue red control deck, right? So yeah, we played against three Okos, blue red control, and Esper dance, like blue white blue red flash. Uh, no, eight tap lands are not too much in a twenty six land deck. No, not at all. Yeah, yesterday, today, we've been facing tons of final bosses. They're going to have double reclamation next turn. Not good for me. Not good for me at all. Interesting build around with a claim contender can find circle, henge, and arc bow. It can. You have to again you have to be playing a lot of knights. Um But yeah, I can find all those. You can also find Bolus of Citadel. Which is what I'm gonna be boarding in here. But yeah, you could you know have like an Abzan version with Arc Bow.
No, Reclamation decks don't just lose to enchantment removal. That's like saying an Inoko deck loses to Planeswalker removal. You know, a creature deck loses to creature removal. It's like, no, you... They still have other cards. Right now, I want to play Castle, but Castle comes into play tapped. I don't actually have a Plains in play, so I'll just get this Goblet Shrine in play. I'm going to play the Castle next turn. Alright, well, I am definitely losing this. Triple Insight with 30 mana. I don't really have a, a chance. So I'm just gonna die to explosion. I don't. I mean, I can just concede, or if y'all want to just see me die to explosion, that's all this is gonna be. And they will definitely find an explosion before I kill them. They could play Nevmizit if they want. That's why I'm holding the, the murderous rider for Nevmizit. Yeah, I don't need to show any more of my deck. Um, we're already at a 2 hour, 45 minute league. Hey, what's up, Trog? I'm just kind of... I haven't conceded yet because... Some people like complain, like, oh, you concede way too early. Like, you get the, like, those comments on YouTube and stuff. Thanks, Trog, saying we've been a fun, um, been a fun long time enjoying the content. Love all the interesting decks. Keep up the good works for another six months at least. Ah, thank you so much, there, Trog. Yeah, I mean we are just wasting time. All right, we'll go to the next one. We're not going to do 10 damage to them before they find an explosion. It's just not going to happen. All right, so we got three to rest, three to spark. That's going to be my game plan here. Ethereal Absolution doesn't do anything. I mean, it stops Brazen Borrower, I suppose. Um... All right, so this is, you know, just like how we, we played earlier. So it's like Murderous Rider is in Spectacular. I'll cut one Wintermore, two Rider, and I, I guess we got to get rid of one more card. Um, just another Wintermore. Okay. I said I, I could try to win on like the 30 minutes. I don't know. That's. I don't really want to win on the 30 minutes. That'd take so long. I could keep the land and put this thing back. My worst land is planes, but planes. But if I put the planes back, then the castle comes into play tapped.
If I put the temple back, I don't have double black. Darn, not a three drop. There's a three drop. Tad late, but that's what we get. Well, I like seeing the scry bottom. Hopefully they don't have the counter spell for the troll this time, because the troll in play is difficult for them to deal with besides like borrower. Unfortunately, two toughness creatures are not difficult for them to deal with, though, between Flame Sweep and Giant. Yay, no counter. Get some attack in. Some attacks. Mm, no attacks. Like to draw a bull of citadel that maybe finds duresses and disparks and things like that. Um, ideally, my opponent doesn't find wilderness reclamation. That's not ideal. It's the opposite of ideal. Yep, I just had to say it. I just had to say it. Thanks, Sister Once. Yeah, so there's there's the deck list right there. This thing can... Explosion can kill Troll this next turn, if they want. Because Wilderness Reclamation is such a fair card.
So why would people play fires over reclamation? Basically, you get to play expensive, clunky sorceries with fires of invention, and those are fun to play. And some more land. And some more land. All right. Um, that means I can activate castle and dispark. <laughs> Can't give her VM but lived until you cast Casualties of War followed by Kenrith in the same turn. That is pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Yeah, I think my camera's a little bit out of sync. I didn't want that to be able to get... So, I kind of wanted to make a 1-1 to be able to block, but I didn't want that to be able to be countered by... Um, by, you know, Mystical Dispute or Quench, or anything like that. So they were trying to just go to end step to be able to cast a really large explosion. We have been pretty unlucky with these lands here. Pretty unlucky with these lands. It's like a, a dubbed kung fu movie. I mean, I can try something. All right, is that better or worse? I just tried a delay one way. Is that worse or better? What do y'all think for the camera delay? Worse, okay. Let's try going the other way. Okay, I tried going the other way. Now let me know. What you think about better or worse now? Okay, so that's better.
closer, go m more that way. It must be really delayed. I've never gone farther that way. Okay, how about this? Is that better or too much? Too much. I feel like I maybe just need to restart Streamlabs OBS after this leak and recording. Because on my end, it looks really delayed. Like, I do this, and then my hand goes away. All right, we'll play Reclamation, and you just gain tons of mana that turn. Obviously, playing this thing second main isn't ideal, but we just just drew it. I think it's better than just waiting until next turn. <laughs> kind of keeping this in case of Niv Mizzet. Yeah, I wish, wish somehow we could have responded to Flame Sweep. <laughs> wish we had instant speed trolls. We're digging for another to spark. They just have too much mana with Wilderness Reclamation. They get to play so much stuff every turn. Like that turn they played Reclamation, Insight, Flame Sweep, Insight. Now this turn it's Insight, Growth Spiral, and they still have, you know, 10, 15 mana. Uh, they got 14 and a half minutes, so the time's not a factor. I mean, I guess if we win, I guess it's a game two, so if we win this game, maybe it is, but probably not. Yeah, this has been maybe my longest league. Even longer than like the control decks that I've ever played on here. I don't know. We're we're over we're at 3 hours 4 minutes right now. We've drawn so bad this game. It's just so many lands. Drawn 14 out of our 24 cards. 26 cards have been lands. Oh, never mind. So that's 16 out of 28. So 
16 out of 28. <laughs> I should play Soren first. Just in case they expansion this and copy it. Why would they expansion this? They should just cast an explosion because they get to draw tons and tons of cards. So yeah, I don't care if they expansion it. I'm pretty surprised we haven't died yet, basically. They just let me take explosion? Huh. Just let me take that card? How? Why would they not just cast it? All right, well, they get a whole bunch of scrying now. They only have 20 cards in library, so it's not like they have that many. I didn't do the math if another explosion would kill me or not here. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So they have 12, 13. 13 times 3 is 39. 39 minus 4 is 35. That's how much life I have. <laughs> okay, they didn't find another explosion. Because Ryder wasn't lethal. Like, I, I could have Ridered the 01, but it wasn't lethal because we would have only attacked them down to one. There you go, Phoenix Revive. Good job. I, I don't understand why my opponent didn't cast Expansion Explosion and just let me duress it. But I was very happy. When they deck themselves, they can they can just make me draw the cards. You don't you get to choose who draws the cards with that card. Oh, this doesn't take Bone Crusher Giant. I should have just led with Knight. Well, 
Well, I'm kind of glad I didn't. We need to draw lands. We drew all the lands last game. Maybe we could probably draw some this game, right? Yay. Um... I feel like I should wait on Knight of the Ebon Legion and not let it die to a coil or a flame sweep. You know, wait till I have like four mana and I can play it and activate it to keep it alive kind of thing. All right, two reclamations down. I got a spark for another one. Shock. Oh, cause castle. I want to be able to play Troll next turn. So that's why I played the Temple. Two on top. Boo. Hopefully one of them's a Reclamation. This would be a good turn for them to just to play Reclamation. Because then we'd be able to just to spark it, untap Troll, and then yeah, it makes the Flame Sweep really awkward. Hopefully it's not counter magic. Sweep? No. Ugh, it was counter magic. Boo. I mean, I guess I could have just, you know, played another minute or so that game, that game won. Gas. Hey, C Bronze Song. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back. Five months now. Our ninth sub of the day. If you lose this with opponent on less than two minutes, then quitting early game one was a punt. I guess. I mean, quitting early isn't the isn't the absolute best EV play, but it's better for. I, I still don't think it will be because it's just better for my. Um, streaming for seven hours of gameplay health instead of trying to focus on making my opponent use as much time as possible in that game that I clearly didn't care about anymore. With the Reclamation being my least favorite card, I just wanted to get out of that game. So it could actually be a plus EV play overall, instead of me just being upset.
<clears throat> we got, I got two activations with Knight. So, you know, if they just go like flame sweep, I can respond by activating and then they flame sweep again. I can respond by activating again. Then of course, then they could go lava coil. So they could, they could use sweep, sweep coil to kill everything but troll, or they could just do that to kill the troll and I, and I get the Knight, but then they, they, if they, I guess if they, if they do sweep, sweep coil, they die. Whether it's knight or troll, they'll die to one of them. That might have been their plan here before I played the knight. I'm I'm very happy about us waiting on this knight where where we did. I think it was the easy play just to play knight out a lot earlier, and I think it would have been much less valuable than what it is now. That was their plan, sweep, sweep, coil. That's not going to do it. They're going to die to the night. And we are going to get that five win dream. Boom. Hard fought. Hard fought. I made like one bad attack in, in one of those games that, but besides that, I'm really happy with how I played that league. Um, I was calling so much of like what my opponents were going to be doing, what they were going to be playing, and I, I really like how I played that league overall. I'll put this one down on my favorites. Um, I originally just wanted to play two Ethereal Absolution. The person that donated for this deck though, said they wanted to see all four Absolutions. And I'm really glad they, they said that because the absolutions were so awesome um, against those Simic players. They really helped and, and everything. Like the, the absolutions were awesome. Um, I could see getting like a third bowl of Citadel in, in the sideboard here for the control matchup. It kind of seemed like I needed like one more Citadel. For those control matchups, um, I liked having all the disparks. You know, like, I like duress to spark. I think the Kaya's wrath is probably not necessary. It didn't. It didn't really feel like I wanted Kaya's wrath. I think we'd probably just take that out and let's just go threes. You know, we got our five cyborg cards: duress, legions, and noxious grasp, dispark, and citadel. There we go. And so basically, the citadels come in and replace the ethereal absolutions against the control decks where. You don't really need the absolutions. Uh, we saw a lot of those ones. We had lots of life. And uh, Citadel's pretty good there. Legion's End is is perfect for the uh, for the aggro decks. You know, like we play against red aggro, red black, you know, any of like the other knight decks, like your Mardu Knights, all that kind of stuff. You play against Edgewall Innkeeper, you probably want those Legion's Ends. Um, so yeah, I like the Legion's Ends in the sideboard. Um, okay. Yeah, 37,000 hours later, we did it. Yeah, three hours, 18 minutes is what it's telling me since we started this. Um, but yeah, really awesome deck. Clackbridge Troll was really cool. It did a lot for us. Ethereal Absolution was really good. Um, definitely fun to play. And I think this was a really good shell for Clackbridge Troll. Um, you know, like this this card honest, honestly was really, really good. So that there we go. Awesome league. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully, maybe you went like one and a half speed <laughs> with it being such a long league there. Um, but please hit that like, subscribe buttons, and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of this sweet brew here. All right, uh, that's it here for Orzov Troll Knights, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.